Now, time for the clutch basket assembly and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and install this while it's on my mind. I think that O-ring's been changed before, but let's just see. Let me see if I got another new one. Nope, it's been changed. I stuck it on there already. So there we go. I'm going to put that there. That's for your coolant. Now, next thing is the clutch. Got the cover. Set it out of the way. We're going to take, pretty sure that goes on there, and then the inner clutch hub. But let me get the. Pull it up real quick. All right, so you got the basket or the main basket but before that washer goes on the one I just had you want to put the washer on like so I'm showing you guys this you know if you don't have a manual and you still need a way to look up what goes where you can look up under the parts fish here then we've got the collar with the needle bearing First thing I'm going to do is we're going to put some assembly lube on there if I can find it. That's right over here. Just a little bit. Nothing major. Slide this over that. Slide that over that. Got your main clutch basket. Gonna slide it down, make sure it fits. It's got to connect with the oil gear, primary gear, primary drive, and also your kickstart transfer gear. There it goes. See? Now everything works together. Next thing, this washer. As you can see right there in the middle, that one. And put it on there. And the inner hub. Take the inner clutch hub, put it on, and you got a keeper. This thing right here, I do believe. The two little teeth to go down into these slots right here. If you don't see it in the light, there's a slot. That's bright. Yeah, that works. There's a slot there and there. There's 
two little things on this. I ain't got three hands. Turn it around, get it to fit just like that. I'm gonna take this nut. I'm gonna put a little Loctite on it actually. Screw it on there. First thing I'm gonna do is find the damn socket that fits this one before. Got it. Alright, that is 54, just like the other one. You know, it probably would have worked if I just made sure it wasn't stuck on there. There. That's not going to work. I'm going to have a tool to hold it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the plates in and everything. Got the metals. mistaken one of these is thicker than all the others yep Unless this is an aftermarket kit. He just put new clutches in this thing. Didn't want to replace them. So. Let's see if it's got one little fiber. It does not. So. First things first, I'll put that there. I do believe see if you look at the different numbers you got eight nine fourteen nine fourteen nine so the eight this fiber right here is different it's supposed to be actually there's two of them and then you do the fiber or metal and then that little spring ring right here this thing so i believe these are aftermarket I'm going to stick them all together and see if I can find one that's different. I 
these are all the same damn thing. So, we're going to do fiber, metal. That's where that ring was the first time, so we'll turn it over. We'll put the spring ring there. Another fiber. Metal. And if these are new, you need to soak them in oil. Another one. You know, for, I'd say, a few hours before you install it. Good in there. And there's the last one. I fell off my block here. Now, I might have to use the impact to tighten that. So we're going to put two fingers here to apply a little pressure. There we go. I can assure you that sucker ain't going nowhere. Now, especially because I'm going to bend it. This side right here has already been bent up. So we got one more use out of this other side over here. So I'm going to take this, and that ain't going to work. Probably need to just take a big screwdriver. Put it underneath it and pry it up. Nothing wanting to work right today. What we need is a pair of pliers. Turn that over. Get underneath it if we can. I'm trying to keep from scarring up the lip of that. There we go. Now we're gonna go all the way across. That little bastard's tough. out break the channel locks out Damn it. That works. Here's the keeper. It's got it bent over flat up against that nut right there, so that's fine. Our clutches are in place, so let's take. Now we got to install. Clutch arm. It goes right there 
this is the clutch rod the arm normally sets here because the clutch cable pulls at an angle like this so the, the dimple part of the rod actually fits in there like so so we're going to put it in the shaft well make sure and there's no spring that goes right there I looked I thought there would be but there's not I'm going to push that rod all the way in you can see it pushing my little screwdriver out so it's in the right spot now we have a little ball this thing tilt it up this ball goes down in the hole uh, let me find the other stuff I'll put that there like so and then this is a it's the clutch push something, but it's got a little pancake bearing down inside there. That slides right down in there like that. Now, I'm going to take the outer clutch hub. Set it. Now make sure these teeth here go down in the teeth there. Sometimes they'll sit on top like that and then it won't you gotta make sure it goes down and you torque the duma floppers down and then the springs and you get on it and crank it up it'll run but it won't go no damn where the clutch is just free spin all right Anyway, it was in the box of the stuff the customer sent. There's only one that goes inside this motor, on this side at least. Let me get this thing. 10 millimeter. I'm going to run them down. Pretty sure it's 8.7, but I'm gonna check. Seven point two foot pounds. Eventually I'm gonna make it there. Okay, 
got it set on seven. I go a little bit past seven. I need to put my wedge in there. Seven point two. And seven point one. There we go. Just verify I didn't miss one. All right. Now that's that. Next thing is the gasket. Maybe it took its shape like it's supposed to. That looks good to me. We're going to take our we got a new seal here for our outer clutch cover. Actually, it's the inner clutch cover. The outer one's the, the one that accesses the quick change clutch. Uh, put the seal, the new kickstart seal, right there. Put it in place. I'm going to take a little grease. Put it right there. What the hell goes right there? Oh, that's for the water pump. And you're wondering. You gotta put a little lube right there too. Now, we're going to take this and set it right over that. But I don't want to set it all the way down. Just a second, I'm going to show you why. Use that to get your gears lined up. There. Now, it's, as I said, it's I put it on there, but it's not real tight because I want this gasket wasn't... And it was in the package when it shipped in kind of cockeyed and it wasn't uh, perfect so now i'm going to take which i believe are these screws right here it would have been nice if somebody would have cleaned them make my pretty motor look dirty And that one, this one, and this one. I'm going to take the screws and we're going to wiggle them in and make sure they go past the gasket. We don't want it to set on top of the gasket. Be a 
this look down in this hole. All right, that's good. Where's my Looking pretty good now. There's that one. It's that one. believe that is it for the time being now we're gonna run them down with our little impact here gently take our preset I'll say this some is preset There it is. We don't use these manual ones that often I tend to forget exactly how to set them up. Now, let's check our clutch. Clutch works. Got our outer clutch cover, which is here. Got our outer clutch cover gasket Uh, 
Maybe it goes like this. Mm. Like that. I'm just going to keep spinning it until I hit the right spot. Nope. Nope. Gotta turn it over. Nope. There it is. I'm just losing every damn thing. Losing my mind. Need more screws. I don't know what the hell they did with them. Oh, I know where they're at. That one. There's that one. long one goes up top. Now we'll run them down with this. I'm going to take this thing. A little oil filter goes like that. I'm gonna take 
put some of that around the o-ring do this on new o-rings until they because you don't want them to roll up on the outside not seat right so like that There's that. Now we got to do the water pump housing. Casket around. That's it. I'm going to take these little dials right here out. I'm going to put it right there. That one goes right there. I'm going to take our gasket. Make sure it's all clean and Free of defects or debris. I'm going to slide it right there. Got one screw, two, that one, that one. And just run them down. Take our wrench, torque them. All right, finally got that side of it. Take the wedge out. Well, leave it out. Still not, might need it.